we regard this as very much a baby steps process. Today, there, as I said, there are 300 people arriving on various flights. I believe that the Thai Foreign Ministry has um, approved more than 5,000 applications to come to Thailand under the sandbox scheme. So, you know, the island, the island has uh, enough capacity. We, the hotels here have been running under 10% occupancy in general. Mm. And we expect that between now and October to expand to maybe 20, 25, 30% okay. prior to the winter. Yep, well, baby steps better than no steps at all. That's for sure, Anthony. Tell us about, you know, what it feels like outside of the hotels, because we've heard some reports about small business owners, restaurant owners concern that they simply have not been able to survive. There have been some requests for more loans and assistance from government authorities. I mean, what is the feel like? Is it, are other elements pretty much shut down to tourists who will be coming? Oh, no. Um, in, in the last year, we've had a very strong support and business coming from Bangkok. So the island really is not shut down. The, the, um, the national parks, the diving centers, the, m almost all restaurants, um, most of the shopping in most areas on the island is open as normal. Um, and the great thing is if you come now, um, the beaches will be all yours and uh, it'll feel like you'll have the whole, the whole island to yourself. So Anthony, a crystal ball gazing, but what kind of recovery do you see for the tourism industry? If you can, you know, not just talk about Phuket, but the region, Thailand in general, uh, through the course of the second half of this year. Yes, um, this, as I said, this is a baby steps process. Um, I wish I had a crystal ball and I could tell you that the, that the, that the uh, growth in, in domestic and international arrivals um, will be sustainable. We have to, it's very much a wait and see game. Um, the fact that we are the only destination open um, in the region um, means there's a lot of pent up demand. We're seeing a lot of requests coming in, particularly from Europe and the Middle East and Scandinavia. These are the countries that don't have to quarantine when they return home, which of course makes all the difference to someone arriving. Um, so we're very confident that, you know, in, in July and August, when people see this sandbox scheme working, and other governments um, um, verify that it's safe and hygienic to come here, that we'll continue to see growth. Um, it will be nothing like 2018 and 19, but it's certainly a start. And I guess every journey of a thousand miles started with one step.